Kaboom. This is what I'm going to use. I'm going to try it anyways. Energy plus 680 Energy plus Safety Ecology <laughs> Ecology Economy. And I'm not sure exactly where where she got this but this gives you directions on all different kinds of things it's non-hazardous non-toxic non-caustic non-fuming non-flammable non-explosive safe on plastics rubber vinyls paints fabrics metals and then it goes along and tells all about it what types of things you can use and it says as a floor cleaner use one part energy plus to 15 parts water and apply it to the floor let stand for 15 minutes where oils and grease are heavy crusts. Agitate with a stiff bristle broom. Check a small spot to be sure all dirt, grease, oils, etc. are in a solution. Then rinse, mop, or squeege off. And this stuff, let's just, let me just tell you, uh, Super Concentrate is a homogeneous blend of colloids, sequestrants, surficants, and hyper-wetting agents that by a propriety process of formulation and concentration become super active due to the incorporation of colloids. The cleaning action of the Energy Plus is to some extent rate related to the reaction of the atom in an atomic explosion. There is a ceaseless random mo movement of atoms taking place in the compound as well as in oils, grease, dirts, and soils after Energy Plus has penetrated them. Since the colloids are little known and even less understood by the gen general public, it is felt that at this point, a brief explanation of what they are and how they work is in order. Colloids are sub-microscopic particles called micelles. These particles are electrically charged and repel each other in a ceaseless random movement. Uh, they cannot be seen with the moist, most powerful microscope. However, they reflect light rays and can be detected by complex electron microscopes. Colloids are measured by the use of ultracentrifuge by throwing them out according to weight. And it, it's, it's pretty interesting. I'm hoping it's gonna work, but um, you, if you can't get this exact product, 680 Energy Plus, the general purpose cleaner, if you can't get it, maybe you can get something like this. How it works, solid soil particles are attracted at to colloids, but what might be described as a magnetic force field when the attraction of the colloids become greater than the force holding the solid soil particles together or to a surface, they are dispersed into individual particles that do not have the ability to redeposit. That is to say, when colloids penetrate into dirts, grease, oils, and other soils, they break them up into billions of individual particles that constantly repel each other, making it impossible for them to stick together or redeposit on a surface. The power of the colloid in cleaning compounds is amazing and the extremely wide range of jobs it will do without the undesirable side effects of other cleaners. Okay, so why did I read all that? Well, you, you, might, you might find a product that could possibly take off this oil substance of this mastic. Now they don't install they don't um, use this type of mastic anymore, okay? But years ago, this was the product that they used, right here. And now we're going to try to take it off. Why are we trying to take this off? Because I'm going to try to stain these floors, okay? I want to stain these floors, like this room here. See that? See how nicely stained and sealed that floor is? That's right down to the concrete. Now that floor was a little bit different than this floor because this floor had tiles installed on it. This room was a room addition later on down the road. They poured the concrete. Then they installed carpet uh, and carpet pad and tack strip. That was removed. The floors were cleaned. And then the sealer and the stain was installed and the sealer was applied okay now i'm going to try to mimic that same look in here and this black tar is in my way okay so that's why i'm going to try to get it off before you know before i do anything else there's always 
different plans. This this could be my plan A right now. I did have another plan A, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But I'm going to use that as a plan B now. And incidentally, when you get a when you get a bucket like this, how are you going to open it? I'll show you that in a second. 